until 10 years, mud and high ground became deep water and a boater's paradise. Fishermen with shore trench lines reported encouraging catches and better enjoyment of Mission Bay had begun. Without losing sight of that dream the bay would someday be, city fathers went ahead on all bay work. Roads were built, sewer lines were laid, drainage arranged, utilities increased, and engineering sketches of bridges became realities to handle the people who would seek out and enjoy the fun that only an aquatic park can mean. By now, the bay's familiar pattern had been established. Points and streets, places and built up land, where before there had been nothing, were now real and tangible and growing with fruitful bloom. Names had become familiar, like Gleason Point, El Carmel Point, and Santa Clara Point. July 1950, progress was halted by the Korean conflict. Work stopped and idle machinery stood unmanned for a while. But in 1955, Army engineers resumed the dredging of the harbor entrance. 750,000 federal dollars gave the bay its deep, safe, navigable channel. Here, small craft could find their way to the magic of the Pacific. Here, 750 foot wide feet gave breathing room to yachts. Its floor, 20 feet down, gave safety and navigation to craft of all size. The culmination of work is realized by the fun people have. Hundreds flocked and gathered on the jetties that formed the entrance to the bay. San Diego joined in fun-filled moments to officially open the water playground. And as the Mission Bay High School Band played from its floating bandstand, the mayor threw open the fluttering ribbons to this aquatic marvel. The carefree and cavorting antics of decorated outboards and clowning swimmers was a symbol of laughter and gaiety to come. And on this day, officials of the city, county, and state gathered to lend not only words of welcome to all, but to praise a new step forward in the vision and planning that had made a dream come true. Good news travels everywhere, as if by magic the word Mission Bay brought tourists from the far reaches up the coast, from the Midwest, from the North, from everywhere they come. Fishermen were there gear to explore the depths of the best fishing territory year-round, bar none, of California waters. This is our park as we know it today, 1945 to 56. This is where year-round many Californians play. This is where a community for family fun flourishes. Sportsmen and young people, old folks and young lovers, retired businessmen seeking fulfillment of restful living. And with the people, Mission Bay grows to meet the fun-seeking crowds. No place is better equipped for the everyday aquatic excitement of rod and reel or outboard motor to the flashing, pulsating rhythms of the Speedway powerboats racing man against man for the Pacific Coast Championship and the right for trophy and a kiss. Today, skiers from all over California gather to skim the briny surf of Mission Bay's blue waters. Champion skiers play acrobatics on the water's top. They stage water festivals and jump the skier's ramp with grace and lightning-fast precision. The difference between a good jump and a spill. Look at them zoom! But where families gather to spend sun-bright vacations together or warm sunny days at the beach or picnic on Sundays, so must the planning arrange for accommodations. With Young America on the move, the park contains a well-planned trailer harbor, the Anza Point, a community in itself. Here at the water's edge, a front porch also serves as a boat garage, and wide paved streets remind you of any small town residential section whose neighbor greets neighbor and shares the delight of trailer living. At Gleason Point, surrounded on three sides by spacious beaches and calm bay waters, is Bahia, modern style swept motor hotel, restaurant and coffee shop with its own swimming pool for relaxing moments. And a colorful fleet of sailboats. There's even a dock where craft up to the largest yachts tie up as large parties come ashore. Skiers and motorboats delight the patrons dining at Driftwood Tea Room. And there's nothing to take the place of a hearty meal after a day in the swim. The barbecue pit handles the let's rough it crowd where hamburgers and wiener roasts and sizzling steaks grill over leaping flames under the watchful eye of a self-made chef. And aren't picnics at the beach always fun? 
The Mission Bay Yacht Club, with its club room, snack bar, and floating launching ramp, houses many of the residents' sailing rigs. There are facilities here for beaching, launching, and repairing boats, for staging dances, and entertaining visiting yachtsmen. But already, the club is crowded beyond capacity. Golfers spend many happy hours under the California sun on the cool greens of a new regulation nine-hole golf course. Or where, on a golf driving range, one may get in a few practice swings to improve the overall game. Children stage good sportsmanship races, pitting skill and sailing maneuverability under the watchful protection of well-equipped city lifeguards, commissioned for the alert protection and water safety. Deep sea anglers, hundreds every day, leave Quivera Basin for the La Jolla kelp beds. From a well-equipped headquarters, these boats are one hour and 15 minutes closer to the kelp beds when they leave from Mission Bay Park. It's a tourist delight to sail the surf in search of deep sea game, for there's nothing like the battle of the deep for sporting fun. the boats are an hour and 15 minutes closer home when they return with prize catches that didn't get away plus some assorted specimens of the deep. Here at Santa Clara Point's Youth Community Center many complete facilities vie for youngsters attention. It's a park within itself operated by the San Diego Park and Recreation Department. At this special model yacht club, these young sailors construct and sail their own vessels. It's Tierra del Fuego's own model yacht basin, made expressly for this purpose. Special regattas are held for these little boats every year, and the precision and painstaking care that goes into the making and sailing of these model boats consumes much time and provides many a worthwhile afternoon for the youngsters. Dana Landing has everything for the water-loving public. It was the first fisherman supplier on the bay, and today is in the past. Caters to every need of the boatman and fisherman. Here, one can anchor his boat or yacht, rent a sailboat for an afternoon, or fill her up for a long, fast motorboat ride across the bay. As the people come, those vacationers and future residents, those vacationers and fun seekers, Mission Bay Aquatic Park must fulfill an even greater need, an even greater capacity. Because Mission Bay will take its place among the major parks of this country, because these diversified seven square miles of beach and water are wholly under the control of the city of San Diego, the visions of a forward-looking plan must expand even more, must not be allowed to stop midway. The Mission Bay Park you have seen develop before your eyes in ten short years has an enviable potential. Statistically speaking, Mission Bay, by virtue of past and future planning, will have 1,950 acres of navigable water, 2,200 acres of landscaping and building park area, and a shoreline you'd have to hike 31 miles to cover. Unlike amusement areas of famous name beaches elsewhere, which are seasonal, San Diego's mild climate offers year-round outdoor activity of all nature. And so it is not unusual that a master plan has been devised after careful surveys that envision Mission Bay Aquatic Park to be the greatest park of its kind in America. It is not unusual, based on present usage and future estimates, for Mission Bay to accommodate and plan for 55,000 automobile parking spaces, 8,000 permanent resident boats, and an equal number brought on traders for weekends and holidays, hundreds of housekeeping motel accommodations, thousands of landscaping plantings, and more. 
while hundreds of acres are being designed for recreation to meet the needs of our local citizenry and our visitors, income-producing leases will make the park economically self-sufficient and provide even more fun-filled facilities. If we could turn the pages of the master plan ahead, you would see come alive all the vision planned for the future. There will be Fortuna Cove Boat Harbor, the Anza Beach Park, a marine stadium, a speedboat course, resort hotel, tournament golf course, overnight motel, aquarium, aqua theater, picnic park, Bay Boulevard, Wayfarer Chapel, tropical gardens, sport facilities, open air pavilion, fishing pier, youth areas, boating facilities and parkways, and countless other exciting recreation areas. In the Bay Haven, every type of pleasure craft will be provided for. Marine facilities such as these will expand so every boat owner may count on ample service and supplies, such as repair service, motors, sales room, slips, boat houses, and onshore lockers. Far out on this harbor entrance will be built a fishing pier. Over 4,000 feet of water frontage will provide free deep sea fishing access. The bulkhead will be surfaced, railings will be built, bait available, parking accessible, so that catches like these proud youngsters display will be common occurrences. To satisfy enthusiasts of every sport, the Bay's future development will soon be one of the world's greatest resort areas of its type. Already this increased public acceptance is being reflected in realty values. Property is becoming more valuable, not only in these shorefront homes snuggled beside the Bay's edge, but throughout the entire area. Future predictions are even brighter. This resort property fronting ocean and bay may well be the Miami Beach of tomorrow. A wonderland of color is already taking shape in the artist's eye for an East Bay Peninsula. It is envisioned that it will blossom forth with tropical gardens and brilliant blooms year-round. Modernistic greenhouses will display their wonders at frequent flower shows in cooperation with garden clubs. And from a quiet and restful patio chair, a magnificent view of sun, sky, mountain and water will unfold before your eyes, while nearby, a rising trail will wind through other acres of scenic beauty, and a completely outfitted writing academy will be established to add one more facet of outdoor recreation to Mission Bay Park. Designated youth activity areas have already been set aside for the specific use of youngsters who enjoy all outdoor activities. Typical of these happy, active Little League players are Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, and church youth groups of tomorrow who will have their own playground for every conceivable sport. For Mission Bay planning, consider spacious acres for safe, sporting fun and recreation among youngsters, a primary function of a well-rounded park. there be found better facilities which are so vital to the future of our young people. Along Highway 101, which today presents the mud and unsightly growth of low-ebbing water, will be landscaping in warm, sandy white beaches and grass with ample parking facilities to greet the traveler on this great north-south artery. It will look similar to these already developed shores across the bay. Also along Highway 101 is proposed a fabulous hotel for future visitors. This artist's aerial view shows space for a thousand rooms with private pool, outdoor facilities, large dining room and coffee shop. This five million dollar establishment is only a part of the bay as it will be someday. Where today Phil is going in to raise a picnic area, it won't be long until this channel side area will see its realization in a beautiful garden spot for picnickers and family cookouts as families now enjoy in other picnic grounds. Here's the new home of La Jolla Corinthian Yacht Club. It's typical of other aquatic clubs such as Pacific Power Boat Club, San Diego Yacht Club, San Diego Rowing Club and others which will call Mission Bay Park their home. And located here in the center of the bay development will be a tournament golf course whose greens will rest between the white of sand and the blue of the bay waters. Sometimes those who play golf will find time for a relaxing sail between games.
for a swim. Or a ski ride. All these are typical of the scenes of Mission Bay of the future. Last year, Mission Bay Park was visited by more than one million tourists, recreationalists, and families who reveled in the infant aquatic playgrounds, swimming, boating, fishing, and picnicking, enjoying themselves to the fullest. Mission Bay Park future is to become America's greatest all-year-round aquatic playground. It will provide recreation not only for residents around the bay, not only people from all over San Diego and throughout the county, but it will also be attracting all Californians with allure to all of America. Once barren, Balboa Park has now attained global recognition because of wise planning, city vision, and work the people expended to make it a man-made wonder. So too, Mission Bay Park will grow to be one of the greatest aquatic parks of its kind in the world. This aquatic wonderland. Mm -hmm.